Hello, welcome back to the new player series where we first step into the prisons. We are going to do the prisons and we're going to do them well. What you should know about the first floor of the prisons on um, floor six is you're going to fight skeletons. You're going to fight crazy thieves. And I think that is about it. I also think there's a hidden door around here. I feel like there's one. I got my hidden door nose. There it is. Found it. Also, um, a couple things I'm thinking of. I'm being very greedy because these three ingredients here make a meat pie. And I know that the next alchemy pot is going to be on floor seven. They're always about five away. They're relative. So floor two of the sewers will be the same as floor seven of the next region, the prisons, if that makes any sense at all. Because then it'll be the caves are next, right? And let's say which started on 11. So it'll be like floor 12 of the caves. And so forth and so forth. Oh, look. So this is a barricade. That means we are going to find a potion of liquid flame somewhere on this floor. Because the when you have a, a puzzle like this, the corresponding potion you always find on the floor. Or somewhere. Sometimes it can be in a treasure chest. Most of the time, you just find it sitting around. Oopsies. That was a misclick. But that's okay. So we have got our wand here. I think I'm going to use it all up. So nice. Our unstable enchantment proxim grass. So let's keep smacking. It's taking more damage than I'd like, but I think we'll be okay. And I'm going to go have to go ahead and eat some food. I'm not going to wait for all that, but I will eat the ration. This is not proven, but I feel like pasties are more rare. I feel like I find rations more often. But I'm eating that because I need some natural health regain. I don't want to use my healing potions quite yet. I'd like to save those. Okay, well, we have a fly over there that wants to mess with us. I do want to actually use this and see if it is plus one. So I'm going to equip it for a while. Let's see if this fly even sees us. Oh, it did see us. Okay. I could try and make it to the door. There we go. And now we'll be safe from the fly splitting a whole bunch. Those that come here. So I was given a tip about splitting them more often because when you get a kill attack, it doesn't retaliate, right? So like I hit it here and it just dies, right? But if I was to hit it and it survived, then it would retaliate. So splitting them up does have some benefits. You also get a slightly higher chance of getting a healing potion, which keep in mind, you can only get five total and then they'll stop dropping them all together. But I just actually looked on the wiki to double check and it has one six chance of dropping a healing potion. And then every other subsequent split has like one eighth or one sixteenth. And it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. But there is a chance. Q meme. So you're saying there's a chance. What is that the response to? I wouldn't sleep with you unless you were the last man on earth. And then you go, but so you're saying there's a chance. I think that's from Seinfeld or something else. Some other, um, 90s early 2000 deal so you want to kill me because i have cloth armor i'm feeling pretty weak so let's go ahead and drink this healing potion now before this thief kills us oh and it stole the pasty so it wasn't even going to kill us it was going to run away but now we have this fly chasing us so we are in what i like to call a predicament i think we just we can attack it here and then shoot the wand because the wand's guaranteed to hit so the thing with the flies on chasms like this is they're still going to split and surround you because obviously they can fly but we don't want them to drop the healing potion down the chasm it'll break so i won't kill them i'll make sure to kill them over black ground here Alrighty. so i didn't like having to use the healing potion there i often for my own fun little challenge i like to save them up and see how many i have at the end of the game but it's okay we had to use it i'd rather use it than die as if you watch the challenge run i just did well, no spoilers. Actually, no, this is for tomorrow. Yeah, I died. I had one healing potion I could have used and I clicked way too fast, just spamming attacks and I did. Well, let's go with um, lethal momentum. It's a pretty nice one. Anything that makes you do an action instantly, I think is pretty good. So you're gonna come after me, that's fine. Okay, keep in mind we found golden potion on the floor. And now, oh, look, liquid flame. Very nice. Let's go ahead and fight you here. Okay, so this is also not plus one, so we're not looking so good. 
I'm really looking for the next strength potion. Be nice. So let's go ahead. I'd rather have the enchanted one on. Oh, hello, thief. What do you want? Golden potion? No, I need that. So notice that they walked over the treasure chest. That's going to mean that it's not a mimic because you cannot step on mimics. Let's shoot the thief before it gets away because that's just getting annoying, right? And we'll just fight you here, I guess. I don't love it. I'm taking too much damage from these skeletons. Ooh, at least I lit it on fire. You know what that means? I could actually just run away and let the fire do a little extra damage for me instead of sitting there and fighting it. And if it steps in the door, the door will burn and it'll cause this uh, skeleton light on fire again, refreshing the amount of turns it'll take burning. So when you're doing that little strategy and running away from things that are burning, it helps to run through grass and the other things that will continually keep them still lit on fire or else after over time, the fire will go out. Notice the exultant blows up and we take damage. If we have a way to um, create a little space and kill it from range, that is definitely beneficial. Of course, that's not always possible. I'm just searching the ground here because these trap rooms often have a lot more traps in them. Of course, if it's burned up or it's an empty trap hole like this, you know there's no trap there. So we'll search here and yep, of course there is a trap. Then so I also zoomed in to make sure I don't misclick on those. Interesting thing about flies is they will burn. And if they walk over water, the fire does not go out. So I'm going to throw an ax at the trap and I'm going to light that fly on fire. Then I'm going to conveniently stand down here. Actually, let's light something else on fire. Let's just keep it going fresh. I will throw next the stylus. Keep you burning. Sit back here. Put it here. I'll stand in the water just in case some reason the fire would spread. I won't light a fire. There we go. And they died. Let's go pick up our gear. I I know I searched there and that wasn't a trap, but I'm still just like paranoid. Okay, so time to burn this up here. We want to stand not on the grass so it doesn't spread to us. And we'll go ahead and just throw the liquid flame against the wall. And it'll explode and catch all the stuff on fire. Burn away quick. And what did we get? Ooh, strength potion. Upgrade scroll. Nice. Let's go ahead and drink this. Now we have 13 strength. So we can do a little experiment with this sword. If it was plus one, it would have a 13 strength requirement. The 14 would go down to 13. So... It's unidentified, right? But if we attack with it and it doesn't take longer to swing, it takes one full turn, we know it's plus one. So a tip for upgrades, plus one will reduce the strength requirement by one, plus three by two, and then sub subsequently every three will lower it by one. So plus six will bring it down one, and then plus nine and down another one, etc. and so forth. There is a nice little... Recipe, I'm kind of going on tangent here, but strength potion, potion of mastery. It'll bring it down by two. Of course, you don't get to drink the strength, so it's kind of a only like a net one positive, but it does help you equip something faster. Okay, so we can test this here on this skeleton. What we want to do is let you guys fight, but so right up around here where my mouse is kind of by my icon, you'll see a little, a little wheel spin. See that wheel spun? It looked like that spun more than just once, right? Because there's no remaining. It started at zero, ended on zero. Look at that. It seemed like it took a long time, but I think that was just because my golem also punched. We have some extra money. We could go back and chop a little more, but what really do we really want to buy? Identify scrolls. The darts can be useful as well. I think I might actually just go, go shop because I want to sell some of this stuff as well. Okay, I'll go shop. Whatever. And I also kind of need to eat. As much as I'd love to make a meat pie, I'm going to eat. Yeah, this my health is too low. I have to be reasonable. And we have to light you on fire, of course. So, go like there. It's nice using traps to your benefit. So, notice when we take a step, the turn wheel goes one time. See that? One time. One time. So, when we attack, it goes one time. I'm pretty sure that means this is plus one, at least. We have enough strength to use it, so it must be. And if that is the case, then we are in a very good position. I was even considering using an upgrade scroll on it because 
these breakpoints, like just the plus one, being able to use that, like when I get 15 strength is very strong. You know, I just upgraded from up to a tier three weapon. So that's very good. Oh yeah, 19. This is definitely plus one. So I'm going to sell, sell this other stuff. I might keep that just because it's kind of neat. Yeah, so 15 strength is going to be what the first or second floor of the cave is getting this on right away. It will be really nice as well. And I think that's good for now. Let's go ahead and buy this just to have. Each merchant sells two darts and the darts can be used um, to do status effects. You can put different tips on them. The tips are made from the seeds here. And yeah, they have some really strong status effects like blinding. Mm, there's like a freeze one, which is kind of like a cripple. Ooh, wand maker, early wand maker quest. Okay. So I usually just look for the yellow here. Corpse dust. Very nice. It's one of the easier ones, in my opinion. It can go bad quickly if you get surrounded, but it's also um, a lot easier than rockberry. There's usually two doors in... Where is it? I missed it. Is it in the corner? Yeah, there we go. There's usually two doors, at least, in the stair rooms. That's why I knew I could search around and find the other door there. So here we go. Uh, the second floor of the prisons, aka floor 7 here. We are now going to start encountering ranged minions. So if you're a brand new player, this will be the first time you fight a ranged minion. They are tricky. Also, prison guards very bad because the chains they use they pull you close range the fact that they pull you in sucks but what's even worse is that they give you the cripple debuff so you can't even run away from them yeah look it is plus one okay i need some i need some armor this is not fun anymore this is actually getting serious since it hasn't pulled me in i'm actually going to step through the door here go for the surprise attack because i'm missing and i can't afford to take any more damage i could just use even a leather armor anything would be nice okay we got see notice i keep drinking eating the rations because i keep getting more rations and i really want to use them for the recipe to make this meat pie right over here but if i had eaten the pasty i haven't gotten a pasty back yet okay what are you gonna do to me so you're gonna steal a charcoal potion and run away taking too much damage Okay, what do we want to go next? Well, what can we go? This is pretty decent, 100% chance. So if you have a lot of enemies on it, you can attack over and over again. A couple in here is also good. The one reason I like doing this is because I can now use the stylus. I'll probably, I'm definitely going two in here though. So how many do I have left? One, three left, so if I skip this, you know, one in here. <laughs> Regular profit first clips. <laughs> I think I'll definitely go two in here. 100% damage resistance plus the uh, Horn of Plenty is going to be very, very good. Oh, I forgot. I need to level this up all the way to 10. Of course. This feels like a door, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. It's just a weird roundabout door. So here we go. This is our first range creature. The thing about them is you have to get out of their line of sight to make them come to you. So if I shoot it here, it's immediately, well, what's probably going to happen is the Guardian is going to spawn and maybe the Guardian won't die right away and I can get, okay, so the Guardian died. What I need to do is stay out of its line of sight so it comes around the corner. Unfortunately, I think I need to come to this door. Oh, look at you in there too. You're having a little party area. Yeah? Hmm. I guess I just get behind the door and wait. So in this instance, I went diagonal because if I was standing here and I decided I need to run away, I would go here and they'd get a free attack on me from that door. So it gives me a little more angles to running away. So I'm just waiting here. Look, you see that door open? So one of them went that way. Maybe they both did. Okay. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'll just fight one at a time then. Oh, you're coming now. Okay. Step back. Okay. I am needing some more armor. Let's watch my health. Time to go slow. I do have an Ankh, so we will be okay if we die, but definitely need to um, be a little more 
A little more careful here. Oh, you know what? I'll just drink the healing potion. It's one of those situations where being greedy will just get us killed, so I'll just wait. Why aren't you coming at me? Interesting. I guess I forgot where it was. Anyways, we didn't take any free range damage, at least. Just like, the skeletons are just being a little rude. Okay, so in this situation, if we were to throw the liquid flame potion, it's going to blow up and light us on fire. So what we're going to have to do here is back up, open the door with, I don't know, say the arcane stylus here. And when we throw the potion now, it'll blow up and it should light it on fire because it lights a three by three. So throw it here. There we go. Lights the door, lights the barricade, and we are good to go in and get the corpse dust. What do you want, skeleton? Oh, geez. Watch out for those miss for those auto targets. I just hit my hotkey really quick and it targeted that one down there. I didn't mean to shoot that one. Anyway, so let's light this one then. Get a rock guardian up. Take tank some damage for us, rock guardian. We are hurting. Alrighty. So for the wraiths, we don't have a good area to surprise attack them at all. So I'm gonna have to be a little careful. Get our one gold. <laughs> Not really worth it. Okay, so I, I'm gonna have to like run it around just like this and pick it up. Oh, miss click. Okay, go like this. Notice how it steps exactly where I step. So keep keep that in mind when you need to um get around them. So if it comes here, I'm gonna get stuck in, aren't I? I'm gonna have to like do some kind of magic damage. Okay, well at least it lost track of me. And ran the opposite direction. Okay, but now it's coming after me again, unfortunately. Ugh, brutal. So I can go here. I'm going to take a free shot, but I will get a surprise attack on this Wraith as it comes around the corner. And then I believe I can get a surprise attack on this Wraith as it comes around this corner. Great, because I don't have doors, so I have to find another way to kill him. And now we're just running to the mage to the wand maker as fast as we can with this corpse dust because as soon as we turn it in the race will stop spawning and we get a wand of corrosion mm -hmm, love it and what is it it is plus one very nice get some of that this is one of the strongest wands the damage corrosion does is very good also you can run away while everyone's dying to it which is probably one of my favorite parts so why don't we do it now we'll just target you give you some corrosion and watch it just get corroded Look at that, and I'll just run away, run away, and didn't quite do enough, but we can do another shot with the other one to finish it off there. Corrosion is also very good in crowded rooms. Of course, you don't want to be stuck in the crowded room. Oh, get out of here. Also, corroded corrosion will shoot over creatures. It doesn't collide with them and stop. It'll hit objects, but hey, look who's back. So we, what we do is we step immediately step into melee range with it because most ranged creatures' melee attacks are very weak. Their range attacks are very strong because they're, a lot of them are magic attacks and it cuts right through your armor. I mean, I don't have armor, but if I did, it'd be very strong. Okay, so we found the alchemy room. We'll just click up here and we'll click on the arrow. It automatically puts all the ingredients in there for us and we're going to make that. I think honestly I'm just gonna feed that to my uh my horn there. <laughs> I forgot, I thought I was gonna eat it myself, but no, I'm not gonna eat it. Anything else we want to make? We could melt this down and then give this up to plus two. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that quite yet. So I'm gonna eat out of this. And let's go ahead and Will it bring it up to plus eight? I know the first one brought it to plus four. That was pretty sweet. So hit store. Brings that to plus eight. Fantastic. So we are two food away from getting that to plus 10. And that is a lot of food. So if I was a corrosion, this guy, unfortunately, it would pull me in with the chains and then I would be stuck in the corrosion and that would be very bad. So I won't do that. I'll just shoot it with this and walk a bit closer. Here we go. Once the crippled wears off, I could corrosion and run away. And I might go ahead and just do that right now. Corrosion. And I just walk backwards. I'm pretty sure it has a cooldown on the chains. But also, when you're in melee like this, 
it's not going to do the chains. It does the chains when you're far away. Anyways, we are getting through the prison here. We're almost halfway done. Go ahead and finish off this floor, and then we'll call this episode here. And I don't think I'm going to do the caves or the metropolis. Just, you know, I don't want to do like all the spoilers. You know, I want you to have some fun, play through the game on your own a couple times. But I think I will go ahead and play up to... I will go ahead and play the demon halls because there are some good strategies, some things to share, and to, some good tips about the evil eyes there, whose laser beams have ended many a good rat puncher's runs. But when you get used to them and get good at dodging around corners, you actually are quite easy, easy to manage unless you get hit from outside a line of sight. And so we have these nice poison traps here. We look at the distance from them we can see that you are only two squares away and i am like four squares away so let's go ahead and trigger this with a torch could use anything i like a torch and it does a lot of damage and look at that poison damage it takes over time it's a very strong trap we leveled up i think we go into probably runic transference oh of course the main thing about this talent is I always forget to use it. It's very good against ranged creatures because it blinds them so they can't shoot you from range. Oops. Next episode, I'll have to remember to do that. Anyways, I hope to see you then. I hope you're doing well. Cheers.